The game you're looking at on screen right now doesn't exist. Not one single copy of this game exists and you will never be able to play this game. Despite the fact that it was released on the PS2 in 2004 and is currently being sold on a Dutch website for 4 euros and despite the fact that there is a very early build of this game on YouTube, this game still doesn't exist. And as the video progresses, you'll start to understand why exactly this game doesn't exist. So let's start off with the basics. Pacey was a game that was supposedly being made by the publishers Phoenix Games in 2004. Now, Phoenix Games were known for making cheap, terrible, knockoff games. This was their specialty. This was their claim to fame. This was their department. They made such classics as Snow White and the Seven Cle Clever Boy. <laughs> that name is awful. They made Peter Pan and they also made Dalmatians 4. If those cover arts don't give you nightmares tonight, then you can count your lucky stars because these things are things and nightmares. I'm pretty sure this one is my sleep paralysis demon. Phoenix Games, whilst they were known for making games and terrible games, they were also known for stealing artwork. The Peter Pan cover you see on screen now actually steals the background from Disney's Kingdom Heart. So it should come as no surprise when I tell you that Percy was going to be a knockoff to the popular video game Pac-Man. This was Phoenix Games bread and butter. This is what they lived for, making cheap knockoffs and getting away with it. Now, if you thought for some stupid reason that Phoenix Games made the cover to Percy's, then you obviously don't know them well enough as the cover was stolen. I know, shocking. Who would have thought? So you're probably thinking, well, where does this terrifying image originally come from? Well, the origins of the Percy cover actually comes from a website called IRTC.org. And this is what the original image looks like. And honestly, the full image is even more scary. I will be absolutely baffled by the end of tonight. If you, if you wake up tomorrow morning and you don't have nightmares about this thing in particular, I am going to be baffled. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. This is the type of monster I tell my nephew that will come and get him if he doesn't be a good boy. Now, one surprising thing about this original image is that it was made in December of 1994 by a guy named R. Husmore or Husmore. This was 10 years before Percy was supposedly released. But probably an even more surprising and interesting fact about Percy is Percy wasn't actually called Percy. That wasn't the original title. It was originally called Block and Gore and it was originally meant for the PS1. But later on Phoenix Games would go on to change Block and Gore to a PS2 game with a new title called Percy. But don't forget about Percy as Percy will become very important later on in the video as there is still an unsolved mystery regarding Percy which I will talk about very soon. But on to Block and Gore. You see Block and Gore was never ever officially in development and got cancelled pretty soon after the cover art was made. No official reason for the game being cancelled has been given by Phoenix Games. There's only speculations about why this game got cancelled. One reason could be the fact that they couldn't find a developer to make this terrifying game which makes sense. Another reason could be that Phoenix Games decided they didn't want to fund a game that would give adults nightmares for the rest of their lives. Never mind kids. This is terrifying to look at. I can't get over how terrifying this image is to look at. So Phoenix Games probably snapped out of whatever they were smoking, you know, probably calmed down, sobered up and realized, yo, we cannot sell a game that looks like this. And therefore they canceled it. Now, another question you're probably asking yourself is, well, why was a cover for this game made if the game was never in development to begin with, right? Why make a cover for something that doesn't exist? Well, a common thing Phoenix Games would do back in the day was create a bunch of cover art for games, whip up a little description for them, like it's a Tinder bio, and send it off to developers to see if any developers wanted to make the game. I also believe that Phoenix Games just like creating cover art. Phoenix Games has a ton of cancelled video games that never made it into development but has cover art for them so that's another reason i think they just liked making cover art so my guess is that they never found developers for this game 
or they simply moved on to a different project so the furthest they got with block and gore was the cover art now the only references you can find about block and gore is from an archive from phoenix's game phoenix games website sorry which is now defunct from june 2003 where it simply says coming soon above block and gore you can't click on this image at all you can't interact with it you can save the image but that's about it you can't interact with it it just says coming soon block and gore and that's it and the second reference to block and gore comes from game fags where the website mentions block and gore being cancelled apart from that block and gore is not mentioned anywhere else officially mentioned anywhere else sorry and this is the only known image of block and gore to exist block and gore was later on removed from phoenix games website by august 2003 so it didn't take them long to cancel that game now remember when i talked about pacey and i said that pacey would become very important later on well now we're going to be talking about why that is the game pacey is very important for two reasons reason number one is because of the fact that this game actually does exist yes this game does exist i've been lying to you this whole time pacey is an actual game it really does exist but it's not this one this is completely fake and has nothing to do with pacey in question someone just made an animation for pacey put it on the internet and that was it this is nothing to do with the actual pacey and it's also not this one either it's not the pacey we've been talking about throughout this video in fact the pacey that exists is this one and this game is called pacey and this is the original one this game is a pac-man clone and it was released in 1984 on the c64 by a guy named frank tip this is the only pacey game to ever exist the rest simply don't exist now were Phoenix Games planning to make their Pacey like the original, the one that Frank Tip made? I don't know. To me, it seems too much of a coincidence, right? You have an image of a Pac-Man ripoff on the cover of your game called Pacey's, Pacey, sorry, even though there's already a game called Pacey that is a Pac-Man ripoff. To me, that seems too much of a coincidence. To me, that seems too familiar for them not to know about the original Pacey's and not to make a game about the original Pacey. So I think in some way, shape or form, Phoenix Games knew about the original Pacey's, the one that Frank Tip made in 1984, and maybe were planning on doing a 3D version of it because there's too many coincidences and too many things line up for this not to be a factor, not to be a theory, should I say. I'm not saying this is true, but this is my theory. Only Phoenix Games knows for sure. Only they know what they was going to do with Block and Gore. And only they, they know what Pacey was originally going to look like. Only they know. No one else knows. And to be honest, getting in contact with Phoenix Games now is pretty much impossible. Apart from that, Pacey for the PS2 and Block and Gore for the PS1 simply do not exist. No physical copies of this game were ever made and most likely this game was never ever in development to start with so anyone claiming oh i've played paces before i've played block and go before the lion you liar this game was never in development i'd be very surprised if you got into contact with phoenix games and they said yeah bro here's a prototype of the game i would be very surprised i don't believe this game was even in development i don't even believe they started development i don't even believe they even thought about developing the game so anyone claiming to have gameplay of the game or claiming to play the game is just lying. They're just lying. So that was a fucking lie. However, there is still an unsolved mystery surrounding Percy and I need your guys help. There is still lost media regarding Percy and that unsolved mystery regards the cover art of Percy. We know where the original image comes from. That's not a problem, right? We know when it dates back to as well. So that, that's not an issue. We've solved that case. But there is a problem. No one knows where this actual cover comes from. There are no leads to where this actual cover comes from. We assume it comes from Phoenix Games website, right? Because they were the ones going to make this game. But even archived web archived um data on phoenix games website there's no mention of 
Pacey whatsoever. No mention of it at all. There are months missing from the database because apparently someone deleted them or locked people out of the database so no one could see. So there is information missing. There is data missing, right, that we need to find. But there is no reference at all on the internet from Phoenix Games' website about Pacey. Block and Go is mentioned as a PS1 game. We've covered that, but not Pacey. Pacey is not mentioned at all on their website. You can't find it anywhere. You can do all the digging you want. You can find, you can try, and I hope someone does, but there's just no leads at all to Pacey on Phoenix Games website. There's not a single reference anywhere to this game. So the unsolved mystery regarding Pacey is where did the cover originally come from and when does it date back to? Because apparently from websites, it was released in 2004. We know it wasn't. We know it was originally called Block and Go and was made for the PS1 and was going to come out sometime in 2003. But apart from that, we know nothing about Pacey. When was that going to come out? We don't know. Was it ever going to come out? We don't know. There is still a chunk of info missing. And if we find out, then it might give us a little insight to what Pacey was actually going to be about. And it might lead to some more information regarding Pacey. So that's your guys' job to find out the original image. Where does the cover come from? We assume it comes from Phoenix Games website, but there is no leads to find this on their website. Even from going back on the way back machine, you can't find Pacey anywhere. So hopefully people on the internet do their digging and find where Pacey, Pacey's cover comes from but that's it thank you all for watching this video on pc the video game that simply doesn't exist despite being released in 2004 let me know if you want me to cover more lost media phoenix games is a very interesting publisher they're very interesting in terms of a topic to cover because they have other games like hoppy 2 that never came out even though there's a cover out for that game and in-game images for that game it never came out hoppy 1 came out but hoppy 2 never came out came out sorry so if you want me to cover more lost media regarding video games games that never came out games that got cancelled anything like that let me know in the comment section down below thank you all for watching you've been brilliant you've all shut the hell up whilst i've been talking you've been great thank you like the video do what you have to do subscribe share this video we, we want as many people as possible to see this video and to help us solve the case regarding pacey because this is still un unsolved so thank you all for watching and i'm out it's about 90 degrees in my room peace